They call themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy. What a bunch of a-holes. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Monday Night Fight Night Year 3 Episode 7 Hosted by Raging Falcon Pro Wrestling There we go, first match of the evening, Cheerleader Melissa against Lufisto We're kicking this bad off good tonight And tonight in the main event you will see Mr. DeVito The now majority owner of RFPW facing off against Axel Dieter Jr and on Wrestle Club this week, main event, RFPW Championship on the line. Joe Coffey has to defend against Mark Coffey and Marty Skrull. That's also going to be something. There you go. Oh, Jesus. There you go. Oh. There are a lot of questions to be answered this year. Including who will win the Formula M and W Championships. Not only that, not only that, ladies and gentlemen, no. Who will get the ratings award done? Will it be RFPW or will it be NEW? Questions to be answered. That's gonna be some things. Oh, good. Good job. Take down. Good job. Two. For the cheerleader. Did I think that I found her? No, she's here. She was well signed. Demon Axman, how are you doing? Hope you're doing good. I haven't seen you in a long while. Hope you're doing fine. <laughs> oh. Well, there you go. Good job there. Oh, Melissa get brain busted by Lufiso. Two count. They were very close on the counter. But can you break it? Because if you have questions, please tweet out to us. Now on a new Twitter handle, FCW Network, which is exactly how you can find us on YouTube, or via the old link, RFW 2014. Hi. I've been growing emphatically throughout the last two months. We're trying to keep that up, of course. There you go. Oh, shit. Oh, take down. Oh, chilling Melissa wins it. And what we can say is over the last two months we've reached over 1700 views on the FCW network. So keep that up and going. We're very happy with that. Chilling Melissa gets a victory here tonight. And we'll advance, of course, up the ranking. Well, let's see how she's going to do that. 
And currently it's Axel Tischer going up against Ilya Dragunov from Russia. That is up next. Two out of, second out of seven matches here tonight. Hopefully that's a good thing. Of course with the split on game between RFPW and NEW. There will be rivalries to be settled this year. Not only within the promotion but between the promotions as well. And I'll check how that's going to evolve. Between the owners on the one side, Mr. DeVito for RFPW. On the NEW side, Curtis, Norman and Jeffrey. So I don't know what to do. Norman creative force already in RFPW. Tagged with Norman Dar. Uh, brought some creative change in the back. And therefore trustee in the ground fundamentals of NEW. Unhappy wrestlers will be unutilized, underpaid, and so on and so on. They couldn't take, of course, with a new promotion, take out the underpayment, but they did take out the unutilization. But therefore, we do have three shows a week on this FCW network, which I think is rather fabulous. Dragonov. Russia's only force to date in RFPW. Mistaken into the German Axel Tischer. I'm still a little bit cold, so. That might mean at certain times you will hear the microphone shut off because of some necessities taking place. But that, it, of course, will tell you in advance. Uh, set what we can look forward to tonight in the main event. The owner of RFPW wants to get his hand in the competition as well against Axel Dieter Jr. tonight. And it just might be so that at the end of the week we have a win for Mr. DeVito and possibly his as well. Uh, uh, how, how could I recall it without hurting anyone's feelings? Uh, his premier son, Marty Skull clinching the RFW Championship that would also be uh yeah don't know whether that's a good thing actually of course also we have to take a look at, at the next wrestling Grand Prix hosted by both promotions together they just are required to uh, and that will be the wrestling Grand Prix of Belgium in which also the RFW European Championship We'll get a place on the card due to it being vacated by Freddy Stahl when he defected to New Endeavor Wrestling. What? Yeah, things are going on here. You could have expected it. Oh, Tisha! Good night with a forearm! And that should be it, quite frankly. Cover! Only a two count for Tisha. Oh, good job! That should be it. And it should be Tisha's victory here tonight. And it is. He defeats Ilya Dragunov here tonight. Fast paced action on the car tonight. Oh. Rev, be careful. I'm going to continue onwards with Harvey Anderson taking on Jesse Gutters. That's what we're going to get up into.
this week of course oh shit We had to actually, um, um, what do you want to say actually? This week, of course, uh, the shows of RFW have been pre typed. Of course, the commentary is live. The necessity of being, of course, the split. But yeah, that's a good job, you know? Oh man! There you go! Yeah, but you know, as I said, it, every week, a week in and week out of recalling this and repeating this, things can go any way you like to. There we go, that's better. <laughs> you know it gets so clogged up with all of the shit that's going in it. And it has to get out. Or it'll be more of a problem. No! Oh. Jesus. Let's go! Oh, jeez. God is for the cover after the huge clothesline from the corner. It's only gonna get a two this time, boy. Well, after which, uh, wait and see how it's gonna evolve, actually. And of course, we have to mention because we are Dutch people. We have to mention, of course, that Kiki Burton's on the tennis element of Roland Garros, Roland Garros, as it actually is. Um, well, I want to say was she qualified for the Grand uh, Quarterfinal actually by defeating the American Madison Keys, seven six six to three. Wonderful performance. Last time it happened for the Netherlands was with Mikhail Krajicek in two thousand and seven at Wimbledon. So, uh, well done. Two. Here you go. Yeah, that's something. Oh, I got ours. Close, but not enough.
Oh my god, this looks like a large sprite, and it is. There you go. And that's it. Wow. And Jesse got us clinches the win here tonight on fight night. Well done. There you go. And next up is Jessica Turner against Kimberley. That's also going to be something. Great women's action as well here. Good things bound to happen. Oh, okay, Irish whipped. Ooh, referee, watch out. In the middle of the way. Wow. Good overturning. Oh, Jesus. Good job as well from Kimberly now. We're trying to take over the match. Frankly, which is what you have to do if you want to win it. Lee clinching on. But Tottenham might get the upper hand here. Oh, good job. To the side of the face. There we go, Kimberly. Oh, super kick. Right out of it. Trey, good job. Well done. Knows what's gonna happen. Oh, 
Oh shit! Well, Henry's going up for it, isn't he? Jesus. Take over to the other side. Yeah, oh, turn on. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh sh! Can we keep this going? Ooh! Dang! There we go! Oh shit. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh man. Oh shit. Oh. There we go. And Daddy Walter and Henry head back into the ring. Keep that going. Oh shit, move. Oof. It could have been worse. Oh. Good job. Oh, wow. Oh. God, let's go. Ooh. Take that. That should give Hatton the victory right here. Three, Gilver. And so Henry wins here tonight. Good job from him.
And so now we're actually with the team of TNT against the darkness. We'll see what that's going to be. Whoa, shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We're going to get some more shit out of this. The tornado is giving it to Jimmy Havoc at the moment. He's trying to come back out of an injury. Uh, it, I don't think it's a good idea to return yet. <laughs> but I said ending and change at any given moment, so let's see what it's going to be like. Oh Yeah, that's what you're gonna get. Two, two count for the tornado. Let's see what it's going to be. Go, take down. Well done. Oh, good job. Good Hurricane Rana. Well executed. Oof. One. Good job. I lose it this time in a different way. Oh. So the takedown by Havoc now on Tyson. Which team will prevail here tonight on Fight Night? It's gonna be a tough call in my opinion. No. Dude. Have to be that way. We'll have to find out of course. There you go, good job. Ooh. Ow. Two. Dang. 
At least they're trying to. Good job as well. Tornado now looking for something. But what actually he doesn't know. Okay then. Doesn't really help, does it? There you go. One, two, three. Tornado gets it for TNT. And the winner is over TNT, tonight on Tyson. And there we go, it's the time for the main event. It's the owner, Mr. DeVito. Well, apparently he thinks he's number one. We'll have to see whether that's correct. There you go. Oh, fingers again. Dead. And what's next? At least what's next in play. Can Navido beat the, well, I guess number one guy for a very long time? Dita Jr. Uh, taking a look at the order of merit. Uh, he's still leading. Week 8 of lead over Coffey and O'Reilly. Now a new place has come free since Danny Richard announced his uh, immediate retirement two weeks ago from uh, RFPW. So another place has come up free. There. So here we go, main event. Dita Jr. against DeVito. This could be an instant classic. I think, uh, yeah, this could become a really good matchup actually. But I think it would need a lot of time for it to adjust. And I think definitely Dita Jr. will get the dominant hand in this one, of course. Have it more experience, have it more, experience, more uh, title reigns. Oh yeah, excuse me, I didn't announce it, but uh, yeah. Necessities were made. I'm sorry if you heard that. This creature across the microphone, but it had to be done. It's Junior feeling good. Oh, back kick. We know this could go all over the place outside the ring, inside the ring, top probe, crowd wrestling, mat wrestling, technical wrestling, high flying. Could go anywhere. Because the Junior would like it to stay on the ground, technical side of the wrestling. But you don't know how it's going to go. It could 
evolve to anything. Oh, the junior feeling good about himself now. Has been the top dog for so long. Was very mad about uh, the trading of the World Championship uh, for coffee, which led him to getting the RFW title. Due to the vacation left by Norman. Uh, and Axel Ditch Jr. feels left out, stating, taking a look at the standings now. Well, I've been the top dog. That is correct, but uh, Coffee had a 128-day lead and as a champion. So, I don't know, I think the best choice, definitely, uh, my point of view, would have been Joe Coffey. But if Dieter Julian gets one over here tonight on DeVito, and Coffey does lose the title, and in the best case scenario, would lose it to Mark, that will leave an impact, actually. So you know that there's there's a lot to count for here. Oh no, oh, boy! What you gonna do to get out of it? In good fashion, actually. There you go. And the candle move. Two. Oh, good. Tita Jin, you're feeling it even more. There you go. Close. Oh, take that out again. This should be it. Two. Damn. Well, Dieter Chicken is keeping it up here today. You've got to admit the, uh, the passion and the veto, but, you know, it's a problem. Two. Oh. Davida now wouldn't bring up the counter. Might be doing it. Oh good. Brim Buster. That might get a cover. Close the victory. Nope. ADG kicks out. Tries to go for an impact on the head. So that he can't react swiftly anymore. The video trying some good tactics here. Of course, all this in advance of Wrestle Club, where the RFPW title is at stake. 
But we see the lead build up into a deep. Oh. Badass error that's coming up with DeVito in charge. There's no one guy, Skrull, winning the main title. Maybe another one winning the European title at the Wrestling Grand Prix. Who knows? But DeVito's got it all locked in, it seems. Oh! We're getting to the outside now. Dangerous key part of this match. How did it happen and it does now. Who can get away with the least amount of pain from the outside? Apparently, ADJ is the one to do so. We're going to get back in sight now. Oh. Two. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Oh, to the outside. Kicks. Oh, well documented. That's going into the archives of the FCW network. I think that's the first time we saw, actually saw that being executed in that manner. The Charlie's Angels announced crew moving over. Rightfully so. Oh, it ticked down. Excuse me. We saw an amazing tight on the arm by the video. DT Jr. drops him out right now at the counter. Here's what you'd like to have. Oop. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> One, two, two. Ooh, gunner. Jawbreaker. And as has evolved from Dita dominance to DeVito dominance to a very open matchup. Good quality. And I have to be honest, it has been quite different actually on this program for quite a while. But it's good to see we have a fairly open matchup, good offense and defense mix ups. Inside, outside the ring. Things are done here today. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, take down. Well done. DeVito going to the top rope. Well job well done. Oh. 
Oh, headlock now. Can you finish it up? That's the question. Can you make it work, but can you mostly make it stick around? This one's something always done in good fashion, so here we go. Open over bridge suplex. Novito regaining momentum here. Oh, splash it. Just threw himself into Dita Jr. And that's it! Mr. DeVito wins! The YTW 18 plus front man. Of course, also lawyer partner and the majority owner. Gets the victory over the number one of the Order of Merit. Now it's gonna end the broadcast for tonight. We'll see you at Wrestle Club, three-way RFPW Championship match.